So after yesterday's video, the kind of clickbait title, I think it's always good to do something productive behind the scenes. So I'm going to answer this question on YouTube. Hi, do you know how to control fur with a weight map when you use the quick fur under the curves instead of a particle system? I'll show you here. Alright guys, how's it going? So before you click off this video, there is a caveat and I want to show you this as well. So we have the basic default cube that has been subdivided a few times here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly jump into weight paint. And I'm just going to give a quick weight paint. Nice and easy. And if I actually go to the vertex groups, you can see here it's called group. So I'm going to call this first test. Hit enter. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add and I'm going to go to curve and I'm going to go to fur. Now I generally don't use this but it's actually pretty powerful. And the reason for this is I actually use these geometry nodes. So we can drop this down, we can go to the curves, you can see that we have modifiers and if we go to the modifier stack we have a whole bunch of geometry nodes set up. Now in order to control the density you actually need to change the interpolated hair curves. My god that's hard for a Scottish man to say. So as you can see, we have a density mask. Uh, if we click here, we should be able to see the spline for test. And that will pretty much apply the fur to where we've dictated in the weight map. Now let me show you the caveat because this might trip you up a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to add in a new vertex map. So I'll go to vertex data and I'll add in this and I'll go to, I'll just call this new test. And I'll just quickly weight paint this and we'll just paint it up here. Now when I go back to the curves object inside of the modifier and let's say I want to change this from the fur test to the new test you can see that it's not actually been added and a lot of people struggle with this they, they don't see all they see is fur test now one of the reasons for this is it's not been added as an attribute so if we actually go to the curve data or the object data properties here you can see the attributes and you can see here that we have fur test so what I can do is I can add I can go to custom what was the name of that for? It was called New Test. Now you need to be careful with the spelling, stuff like this. Uh, we know that it's a spline and we know that it's a float. Then when we go back to our modifier stack, we can change this. And you can see that the spline New Test is here. And when we click that, it's there. And that is pretty much how you control the density using the curves. Uh, it's pretty powerful to be honest. There's a lot of things that you can do. But I just wanted to show you that in case the weight map didn't show up. Anyway, do me a favour guys, please like the video, comment, all that crap. Take care.